Oh, he's outside. He's outside. What? He's outside with a flamethrower right now, and he's trying to get into my house. Yo. Yo. We got problems. What do you mean? So, Steve's back. What? Steve. After all that. Yeah, Steve came back. We were here yesterday, me and Aldo. I came here to show Aldo the house or whatever. Yeah. And I came here to show him the property. And we explored the property and we came back to the house. And there was a dead dog. You could smell it. There was a I dead dog. Something. Yeah, that's the, there's a dead dog in the house. No. He killed the dog. As no. A, as like a threat. What? I swear to God. Are you serious? That's sad, bro. That's Are you serious? I, that's why I called you over here. We gotta bury it, like, you know? Yeah, I got goosebumps, man. It stinks. You can smell it through I the window. The window is actually open, right? Oh, okay. You can smell it coming out of the window. Um, I had Mo come here and meet me here today. He had no idea that the, that the clown was back. We were here last night, yesterday. I want to come back and give the poor dog a proper burial. I'm gonna bury him somewhere here on the property. I brought a shovel with me, and I'm gonna make him like a little tombstone. Dude, let me show you what I'm talking about. It's it's disgusting. I don't know if I can see that, man. That's crazy. Hey, what the hell is that? What is that on the window? What is that? I wasn't here yesterday. That window wasn't even, wasn't even open yesterday, I think. So, that's why I wanted to come here today, guys. Um, I wanted to come and put this dog to rest. It's a little puppy. He killed a puppy um, to get back at me and, you know, me and Mo and chasing him out of here the other day. Like we chased him out of here about a week ago. And I guess this is like his way of saying, oh, I'm gonna kill you next. And he, he I guess he cut up a dog. There was, there was tons of blood in there and it stinks. You can still smell it right now. So the goal for today is to get rid of that dog, bury it. <clears throat> I'm, I'm like choking up because it's such a sad thing. Bury it, barricade the basement door so he can't get in from the basement no more and put up some security cameras around the house as well. And not only that, but I'm also gonna be trying to communicate with him. I'm gonna leave a walkie-talkie at his actual tent. Okay. And I wanna spend the night here and wait to see if he comes. I'm gonna have the machete with me and I'm gonna wait and see if he shows up. Maybe I can try to communicate with him with the walkie-talkie, you know what I mean? Bro. Oh. So that's, that's the objective for today. I don't know what that is, but there's something up in the window. Hello? I have a machete. Dude, I feel like this is deja vu all over again. You see it? Did you smell that? Ah, oh, it's disgusting. It's terrible. Come on up, bro. Bro, I don't know if I'm ready to see this, man. <laughs> yeah, it stinks. I'm gonna blur. Breathe. I'm gonna blur. Just like in yesterday's video, I blurred the whole scene because I don't want to get demonetized, and this is really graphic too. So, bro, come see this. Oh, bro. Look at that. No. So I don't think he's here. Bro, that's messed up, man. It's really nasty, right? Yeah. Oh, hey. What? Dude, what? That wasn't there before. That wasn't there yesterday. Dude, he's, oh my God, this is his stuff. He's making a whole ass living room here. Yo, he fully moved in here. He slept here last night. That's what I, from the window outside, I was seeing, I was like, what the hell is this? There's something on the window and there's this weird ass head over here. And there's a picture frame of a bunny and a baby? What the f***? Dude, look at his choice of blankets and sleeping bag. Well, he's clearly a psychopath, man. He's right? Like, kills a dog and... 100%. I've never seen a dead dog like that in my life. Yeah, and you know what, man? We're gonna go and... We're gonna go and bury it. It's gonna get buried. It stinks so bad in here. How the f*** did he sleep? Oh, dude. He left it there and he slept. <laughs> I'm getting such a headache just from the smell of this. I'm guessing he slept here last night. Look, dude, he brought a chair in with him. He brought some shoes. What are those Santa Claus elf shoes? He brought a blanket. It's like, oh, wow, that's what weird. He brought a clown themed blanket. And he also brought some decorations and whatever. And wait, that's not a real, I thought that was a real machine. Is that real? That's not real. This, this ain't real. This looks real for a second. That looks so real. Right? It can still hurt someone because it's plastic, but. Whoa. Why would he have that? That's so stupid. Anyways, let's get going here. I can't get over this dog, bro. Dude, look at this. What the f Something walked through this. Don't show the dog. But but there's footsteps in the blood. It's drying oh, up now. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. like footsteps coming out of the what pentagram. There's footsteps coming out of the pentagram. And then disappearing. Dude, maybe this Where guy- Where did it go? This guy did a ritual. This guy did a blood ritual with a dog. He summoned something evil into here. 
that a thing? Like, I've never seen that. I mean, pentagrams are, are, are real. Like, yeah, I if know. you open up a portal, you can actually summon something out of it, like a, a demon or something. Oh my god. But just like baby feet coming out of that thing. So this guy summoned up something. Or, that's weird actually. Look at it. Those are dog paws. Is that dog paws? Yeah, those weren't, those weren't there yesterday because I filmed this. Those are, show those paws. Whoa. Those are dog paws. Whoa. Actually. It's like it came to life or what happened here? That's strange, that's right? Tough. That's strange, bro. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be burying the dog. I'm gonna get something to wear in my hands and not touch it. Yeah. What was that? What the f was that? Bro, I don't know. It just got like dark for a second. I saw that too. Yo, should we even be in here? Okay, good. It got dark for a brief yeah, second. Yeah, it got dark. the shit out of me. Hello? Guarantees that is campsite. Um, after I bury the dog, I'm gonna go into the forest, go to his campsite, and leave a walkie-talkie. Yeah. If he shows up to it, he might find it and try to communicate with me. I'll leave him a note. I want to talk to this guy. I want to see what his problem is. If we can't scare him out of here for a long period of time, yeah. and he's definitely not get, gonna get rid of me, that's for sure, unless he like kills me. Um, maybe we can come to some sort of agreement like i would like to settle this in a way where it's not going to cause anyone to get hurt or die you know what i mean yeah because last time we chased them we had we were a bunch of guys i thought he was gone for good i'm on edge man i can't breathe man. it stinks so oh, bad yeah me. please it's really bad like i have, I have the biggest headache ever from the smells in here let's go and get, i'm gonna get i'll be back i'm gonna get something here leave this here for you okay um i'm gonna grab something so we can like just get that dog out of there this is all I can find is a bag. Um, I'm gonna pick him up. Oh, you're gonna pick him up with the bag? That's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, this thing's so bad. Oh my god. It's horrible. Well, I think it'll be best to bury him here by the house in the backyard. So we can always like keep an eye on it, you know what I mean? Yeah, true. Dude, I feel like like, you know like when you smell something so bad, it just gives you like the biggest headache ever? That's yeah, what I feel right it's making now. me nauseous. Yeah, I'm like so nauseous because of it. And especially because I had to grab him by hand and put him in a bag, you know? Yeah, man. That smells coming out of the bag, bro. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, we're doing a good thing, man. Yeah, 100%. But I'm still pretty pissed off at that damn clown. Me too, man. That's that could be someone's dog. Like, where do you get the dog from? Probably a stray dog, dude. Yeah. I mean, it's a forest. There's stray dogs everywhere, right? True. We literally just pulled this wood out of the house, by the way, like out of the wall. So this guy, like this dog, is getting wood from the actual house itself. This is not what I wanted to be doing today. Making a, a freaking what do you what do you call this? Kind of like a tombstone. Kind of like a tombstone, but like a made of wood, like a memorial, like a grave for a dog. Yeah. In my abandoned house. Like, there's so much we could be doing. Like, we wanted to do more work on the actual trail. Just keep going like another kilometer in, but that's gonna have to wait probably for another day until we get things sealed up here. Like, we're gonna seal up the basement entrance. We're gonna put up some security cameras. Nice, man. I'm gonna hire you to build my deck, dude. I'm like, like, I mean, it might fall apart, but. <laughs> yeah, let's walk away. <laughs> yeah, so don't hire me. Honestly, no. don't, I don't, I don't know how that happened. Just don't hire me. <laughs> we'll fix it. Remember how like the clown left spray paint in his tent? Oh, good idea. We should like risk it, grab some spray paint. Yeah? I'm like, give it a name. Okay, let's do it. What was that? I heard it. What was that? I hope he's not back. Well, it's getting dark soon, man. Yeah, I don't have a pen or anything on me. We should grab a can of spray paint from his tent. Let's go do that. Let's go. Let's let's go. go. The axe with us. Yeah, we're trying to get nails, um, better nails to fix that tombstone. There we go. This one's nice and straight. Like I said, we weren't expecting to do this today, so I didn't buy any nails. And... 
Honestly, nails are expensive in my city. Listen, I can fix it, but like, I, I, I'm not gonna guarantee the work, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, after what we saw out there. <laughs> <laughs> you you kind of jinxed it. I know. I figured the dog deserves respect, you know? So we gotta like put these back in and give him a better one. Not yeah, just I like agree, some man. like, you know, shitty one, right? True. Whoa. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Ah! Oh, okay, Ugh. so you can hire me to fix things. <laughs> I need like, I need like insurance. <laughs> that looks good. All right, let's go get that spray paint. Okay. We're gonna go and get some spray paint from Steve's tent. Hopefully he's not there. And we'll put a name on that gravestone or marker. Call it a grave marker. Mill's got the machete just in case. It smells like something's dead over here. Like it always smells like there's something dead on this damn property, man. Ever since we dug up that Nazi treasure from over there, ever since we've had this it clown dude show up, just things have been going completely, completely wrong. If you're new to this channel and you haven't been paying attention to what's going on here, um, so watch the other videos. I'm gonna link them in the iCards up above and the end screens and you guys can watch them there and see what's going on. But you know, we did some work recently, cleared a path through the forest. We're gonna be doing more work on the path really soon. Okay, here, take this. I'm gonna go grab a can of spray paint. Okay. The other ones were empty. Dude, I don't know why, but that was so nerve wracking. Like, I could see if he's here or not. Maybe he's just not here at this time, right? Yeah. Like, there's days where he's. Fuck. Chipmunk. Oh my god. <gasps> Sounds like someone's walking. It does. Oh, bro. Aside from the chipmunk, it sounded like somebody was just walking. Yeah, I heard that. Yo, me too. Be careful. I thought I heard something. How are we going to get rid of this guy, man? Dude, I don't know. Like, I honestly don't know. Like, if we were to call the cops, it's not guaranteed that he's going to be here, right? And truth be told, we actually did um, contact a security company to come out here and stay here for, like, full-time security. It's going to cost us a lot of money. Like, that sucks. We can't afford to pay, like, five, six thousand dollars a month for a security guard to be sitting here, like, for, like, half a day or a few hours a day and anytime we're here, you know what I mean? After that night, we chased him out. Like, I thought for sure he's not coming back. He came back and he was, like, angry. Angry, yeah. So, I have an idea. I have an idea for a name. Okay, what'd you think? So, I think I should go into my comments and take one of my fans' names and just, like, as a thank you for watching my videos all the time and like put a fan's name on there. That's a good idea. Okay, I'm like freaking myself out. I'm gonna do that right now. We're gonna find a fan that's a member on my channel. So if you're a member on my channel, I'm naming this dog after you and I see this person commenting all the time. If you're a member, it illuminates the comments so I can see you guys um, when you reply and I always reply to members mostly. So Kelsey York, congratulations for getting this dog named after you. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I would take it as a good thing. So a big thank you to Kelsey York for always being on my channel and being here. So let's go ahead and put York. York? Yeah, I like that. Let's call let's call the dog K York. K dot K dot York. Nice. There we go. Ten seconds of moment of silence for the doggy. Everybody do it in the comments below. Just leave a prayer for the doggy for York. That's a cool name, York. I like that, right? York, yeah. Alright, York, rest in peace. Hopefully you're in a better place. You didn't deserve this. And uh, now we uh, we need to fortify this place. There's a door here that's empty. We're gonna fort uh, that's open, not empty. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna fortify that. And dude, my speech is off today because like this is this is such a weird situation that we're in. You know what I mean? Like the fact that we had to do this, it's a really weird situation. We're gonna barricade that basement door now. We gotta clear some of these shrubs. 
Bull's going all out. You see the sparks? Yeah. Oh, there you go. There we go. Nice. Oh, it's such an ancient door. Look at this. Yeah, it's a very old door. So for now, we're going to leave it like this. We're going to get some big nails tomorrow and just nail it shut. Yeah. yeah. Nail it all around the frame. And Steve won't be able to get in that no. easy. Like, I've, I've had some people, like, comment in the comments below, like, What's his deal? Maybe like this was his house and he's unhappy that he had to give it up at one point in time. But I don't think that's the story. I think the story is, is that he's just a very disgruntled and evil person. Like, okay, if it was his house and he'd be mad, like he would at least come and talk to us, have a dialogue. But there's no dialogue. He just shows up in an outfit, as scary as a freaking clown. You guys know how much clowns terrify me. Clowns terrify you? Oh, of course, man. Clowns terrify everybody. Clowns are scary things. And he's trying to scare us off by performing like rituals in the house. God knows who else is he, he's bringing onto the property. Like, you never know if he's bringing other people here, you know? Yeah. So, just realized that there's still another door down here that's not barricaded. Oh, that's right. This is going to be like a temporary thing for now until we get better ones. Like I said, temporary. At least this way it'll keep animals out too. True. Okay, that's it. That's good. Jumping into the night, we have been working very, very hard all evening installing cameras all around the house. So as you guys can see, come over here, Mo. We barricaded the house. We've installed a camera on every side. Can you, can you see that? Yeah, right we there. We got a camera up there. We got three more cameras around the house. Let me show you guys. We got another camera right up there, right above the window. We got two more cameras at the front entrance. As you guys can see, one there and another one over there. So that should scare off this homeless guy if he comes back. Like we barricaded the basement doors. Even off camera, we sealed them shut so he can't even get in if he wanted to. And uh, what I'm planning on doing is, you probably noticed that we're filming this in night vision. And what we're planning on doing is spending the night here to see if he shows up. And if he does, then he's going to get f***ed up, straight up. Or we're going to have some dialogue. We're going to try to do something with him, you know what I mean? Try to communicate with him. But right now what we're going to do is just we're going to spend some time here in the house, sit around. You know what? We're going to sit in his bedroom. Let's sit in his bedroom. He did put a sleeping bag in there. I'm guessing it was him. Let's just go and hang out in the bedroom and see what happens. All right, guys, door is locked. We're locked in the house. Machetes out. <laughs> By the way, we need to sharpen these machetes because yeah. they're not sharp at all. Like they're dull. I just bought these brand new and I realized they're not sharp. So, I mean, you can still hit somebody with them, but they're not, they're not cutting too much. Let's go upstairs and camp out in the room. So we'll just keep recording in case he does show up or something happens, you know? Yo, this house is so creepy in the dark. I don't actually spent time here by myself. You're crazy, man. You Look, came at 2 a.m. the other day. At midnight, and I stayed till 2. Oh, yeah. That's Come cool. on in, bro. Check out your bedroom. Dude, how does this look on night vision? <laughs> oh, it's crazy because I can't see where I'm walking. Really? Like, I can, I'm can i walking I, through the screen. It's weird because I can see everything. Like, I, can, I have night vision in my eyes, dude. I yeah, got you're, the, you're made for this. I got that surgery done. Um, anyways, we're just going to chill. We're going to hang out. Homeboy got us a chair, I guess, which is cool. And then uh, we'll see what happens throughout the night. What was that? What was that? Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. His freaking like shoes, dude. <laughs> they stink. Oh. These are, why the f does he even need those? You know, like, that's such, such a weird thing to happen. Especially that it makes sound. Right? So we've been sitting here for a good hour. Nothing's happened so far. I have this idea. And I think it's a, it's a risky one because it is dark right now. But I think we should do this, dude. So I have walkie-talkies with me, and I kind of want to go and leave one at his tent in case he does show up to the tent tonight. Maybe like he'll he'll talk to us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go on. Sixteen. Like I'll I'll leave a walkie-talkie there. We'll keep a walkie-talkie. Testing, testing. They work. You know. Okay. Maybe like he'll try to talk to us. Like I'll leave a note or something. Probably not gonna leave a note, but I'll just leave a walkie-talkie. If he if he sees a walkie-talkie in his tent. Anyone here? Hear that? Dude, we're barricaded in. We got cameras. There's no way there's anyone here. No one could be in here right now. Imagine it's an animal. What? Crazy. What is that? 
Hello? Did you hear that? Well, There's like, no way he's in the house. Is he humming? I heard a humming. Yo, it's this. Yo, if you're in my house, I got a machete. I'm not afraid to use it, dude. Oh, he's outside. He's outside. What? He's outside. Oh my god. Bro. He knows we're in here. He knows we've locked ourselves in here, bro. <gasps> there he is! There he is! is he he's outside. He just ran into the bush. No. I see a, a vague, vague silhouette of him running into the bush. Holy shit. He's here. He's still here. I thought he left, dude. Okay, so, you know, this might be a good thing or a bad thing, though. Like, I want to communicate with him. I want to give him a walkie-talkie. You see that camera? I can see everything. Well, he's not out there right now. He ran into the bush, dude. Let's go to the tent and throw a walkie-talkie there. In the dark? We'll walk in the dark. We have night vision. He can't see in the dark. There's no way this guy's got a night vision. We can see everything and right. he can't see a okay. thing, right? Yeah, yeah, we have an advantage. So let's go and do that. Bro, if you spot anything... Actually, I'm going to turn off my, my flashlight just in case. So I want you, you know what, here, give me the camera. Okay. Turn off the flashlight, I'll, 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 I'll lead the way with the camera. Here, hold the machete, just so I can see better. And we're gonna go in total night vision, guys. See if we can see him, or at least, you know, plant a walkie-talkie in his tent. In this dark. Dude, he ran in the darkness. How does he even function? Like, is he even human? Oh boy. Probably gonna hear us literally walking, but we have the upper, upper hand. We can at least see him, bro. I, I just turn off night vision because there's a flashlight over there. I see someone. Wait. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. I think that's him. I see something. Yeah, but his oh, tent. Yeah, he's way down by the fire pit. Yeah, that's him. Oh my god. I see, I see. Yeah, that's him. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna make my way to the tent. Oh, he shot off his light. He shot off his light. Shut it off. Okay, I'm gonna make my way to the tent. Just drop off the walkie-talkie, okay. and I'll come back. If his lights turn back on, I can run, because I'm running in the dark. I don't care. Okay, bro. Is this on? Power on. I don't know if he even realized that we just went there, but I'm pretty sure that was him by the fire pit. He turned the lights off. Like, what is this guy doing? Is he on drugs or something? He's just sitting there with no lights on. What if he like circled back and like went into the house? Now, it's possible, now I'm nervous man. to go back Come in on. the house. Like just being in the darkness. You know what the weirdest part about tonight is? Look at that full moon. Crazy that is. Wow. It's like a full blown full moon tonight. Careful. Door's locked. I've actually been about half an hour since we placed the walkie-talkie out there. So far, nothing. I don't want to like radio him just in case. I want him to find it on his own. Like it's a long shot. We're gonna be here. We got machetes. We got baseball bats. We got axes, and we're completely locked in here. There's no way he's getting in. Like if he gets in, that's like break and entry, you know, because we've locked this place down. We got security cameras on all sides just so we can see him in case he does like show up or whatever. Dude, like we literally saw his flashlight. You saw the flashlight too, right? Yeah. That's why I'm like, maybe just one of us will go to the tent and put the walkie talkie there. You know, like just in case like he's there and like he hits us with like that flamethrower. For those of you that are new to this channel, this dude's got a flamethrower and he's tried to attack me with it twice now. <sighs> oh, it's the walkie talkie. <gasps> Hello? You think you Hello? What the fuck is he saying, bro? He found the walkie-talkie.
Steve, is this you? He's not close. Yo, are you, are you the one that killed the dog and left it in my house? Because if so, you need to get the f*** out of here. <laughs> Where's the machete? Keep the machete on. Keep, keep, keep the machete on you. Keep the machete with us. Is your name actually Steve? I can't understand anything you're saying, dude. Like, what the f*** is wrong with you? What are you doing here? I'm Steven. Why did you graffiti my house? Do you not know that this is my house? Did you used to live here at some point in time? He's possessed or something. Yeah, 100% possessed. Or some type of ritual shit. Do you need help? Can we help you in any way? Would that make things better? I want, I don't want to be like at war with you this whole time. Like, can we have like a dialogue of some sort? <laughs> He's done f***ing around. What does that even mean? Oh, this guy's serious. Look, man. Like, I don't know why you're here and what the f you want. Um, please just leave, okay? Like, I don't want to have to, like, shoot you or stab you. And I don't know where the f you're getting this flamethrower from, but please get rid of that. Like, that's dangerous, dude. What the hell's wrong with you? And how could you kill a dog? How could you kill a dog in my own house? Like, what kind of a person are you? Dude, this guy's demented. Like, he's on something. What do you really sound like, Steve? Stop playing games. Stop acting like a clown. Hope that doesn't piss him off. Boys. <laughs> Yo, grab the camera and throw me. Okay, I gotta turn on the light. Steve, if you're in my house, I'm the machete. I'm the machete. Steve, if you're in my house, it's gonna be a really bad day for you, honestly, because I've barricaded this place. There's no way for you to get in. You can huff and puff, but you're not getting in. Friend, I want you to fuck off and leave us alone. Hey, stop with the language. <laughs> you know, a lot of people are really pissed off at you right now for killing a little puppy. Why would you do that? Fuck the language. You killed the damn puppy. You're a piece of shit. Sacrifice Mo? I heard Mo in there. How do you know my name? What the f Bro, this is trick. Steven knows everything. He said Steven knows everything. Yeah, well, I hope you know that if I catch you, you're gonna end up like that dog. Steve. You know we buried the dog, right? You know your ritual failed? Steve? Where is he? He went quiet. What the f***? <laughs> Steve!
Steve, is that you? Hey Steve, why aren't you answering? Is that you? Get the f out of here. We've got a machete. <laughs> Steve, how do we solve this peacefully? Barricaded ourselves in and we're staying here. This is our house. Guys, this is absolutely insane. I really thought this guy would leave, especially after killing a dog. Like that was his final send-off, but he did not leave. <gasps> oh, bro. <gasps> no, no, no. He's back. He's got the flamethrower. Is that the flamethrower? I, I just turned off night vision, I see. Oh my god, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. <gasps> no, no, no. <gasps> Go away! Get off, Steve! Steve, get out of here! Steve, you better get the f out of here with that flamethrower. Oh my god, dude, he's trying to set the house on fire. Is he trying to set the house on fire? Steve, get the f out of here, please! Bro, he's got the. Dude, he's trying to set the f window on fire. Oh my god, oh my god, he's got the flamethrower. He, he literally has a flamethrower. Go away, Steve! Go away! Oh no, dude. Dude, he doesn't, he doesn't have a mask on. But I can't see his face, fuck. Hey Steve, I'm not afraid of your fire. Let's try to get him to turn the fire back on. <gasps> what? Let's see if we can get a face. Let's see if we can get his face. <gasps> Guys, he's he's outside with a flamethrower right now and he's trying to get into my house. <laughs> you wanna play? <laughs> I, can't, I can't see his face. I can't make it. Let me turn night vision. Let me turn on night vision. God damn it! Where'd you go? Hey Steve, where'd you go? Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh look, I can't, dude, I can't see. Steve. Seriously, get the f out of my property. You and me. Okay, we'll all be together. All together. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Did you see him? Oh, my God, he's right there. He's right there, bro. Open the window. Open the window. Open the window. Let's get a face on him. <laughs> Wait, how did we just hear him on the walkie talkie? How's he talking on the walkie talkie and he's running with a flamethrower? How's he doing that? Steve, where are you going? Dude, he just went into the forest. He's in the forest, dude. Look, he's in the forest. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay. Bro, let's get the fuck out of here. Yo, I think it's our time. What? I think it's the time to get him. Hold on, hold on. Where's the walkie talkie? Where's the walkie talkie? Let me, let me see. Let me see. Ask the he can't get in. He can't figure out here. Hold this. He can't figure out how to get in. Hey, Steve, where did you go, man? What's with the flamethrower? And why do you hate me so much? Can you hear me? Hey, Steve? Steve, why do you hate me so much? Love. 
Yeah, well, I bet you couldn't get into the house. That's why you ran back like a little pussy. F you. How does he know my name? How do you know my f name? The universe wants him to be friends with me? What? We're not gonna be friends with this guy. But I think you're just scared. I think you're lonely, you have no friends. You don't deserve friends, in fact. He like disappeared into the forest. Yeah. Hey Steve, you got nothing to say now, do you? Listen, your flamethrower hasn't even been able to get me. You can't do shit. You don't have any other weapons. You don't allow nothing. So f you, f your life, f your family. You're a miserable. F He's mocking the dead dog. Bro, you're a piece of shit. F you. Aggravated me, bro. He's aggravated me. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. The fuck? You say he's gonna grab something else? Yeah, he's grabbing a different weapon. He said. Door's locked. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Open the car. Open the car, bro. Try me, Steve. Try me. I'm just gonna run you over, you f***ing loser. Dude, I, is he... <laughs> is he still in there? Fuck, I don't know. Dude, what if he, like, just comes out from behind us right now? I would run oh, his ass... Shit, can't we put the seatbelt on? Dude, I would, I would run his ass over. Yeah, please. Hey, come jump in front of my car. Come jump in front of my f***ing car right now. Come. I don't want to wait and find out and see what what this weapon. Yeah, no, no, this no, weapon is. Here, man. Yes. Okay. F you, Steve. F you.